I've got some news to share with you guys that could send Bitcoin down, smashing down to terribly low levels. Could we break down past 20,000? Could we go back to 15,000? You might think that sounds crazy or some of you are actually calling for it. But the news I'm about to present to you today makes a case of why that is very likely. But it's not time to fear, it's time to prepare. This is what this video is all about. Why could we potentially see a massive black swan event happening very, very soon? It's a very real possibility. I'm gonna give you all the facts that back that up. But more importantly, what you need to do to prepare to maximize the opportunity here, that if this happens, exactly how you could take advantage of it to make sure that it benefits you in the long run because there is so much reason to play this play this angle exactly like a chess game and we're going to show you in this video exactly how to do that guys if that sounds good to you make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you're new here and not subscribed already and let's get into this unfortunate news but it is a reality of the situation of what is going on so highly mutated covid virus variant ba26 showing up in multiple countries. Bill Gates told us this before. We've been told that the new variant is coming. The last one was nothing. This is should be n no surprise to anybody, right? And we know that the pharmaceutical industries want to make a bunch of money. I first heard about this four or five days ago before I left on this trip. This is why I'm in this room right now. I am away from my normal office. Um, but just to be sure, I... I'm taking my ivermectin uh, because there's no way that I'm getting any more booster shots. But what's going on here? So this is a conspiracy like that that is just in your face obvious, right? So let's go into some other uh, discussions here. Now, a few days ago, this was August 19th, so four days ago. This is actually when I heard about it uh, the first time and when I decided to prepare uh, because Ivermectin has been shown as a prophylactic, as a preventative to COVID to be super effective. I don't know, quote me on this, but it's like 99%. So, uh, so just in case, um, I, I've been taking it. But this is where I first heard about it was this tweet from uh, Melissa Tate. What are they called? They're not called tweets anymore. They're called uh, posts, maybe, I guess. I, I don't remember. I think it's a post now. Um, I'm not going to play this whole video for you, but you might say, okay, it's Alex Jones. He's crazy. Conspiracy guy. Um Right, but just after Alex told us that this is coming, right, and he said he was talking to his friend that's head of the like a very high up in the TSA and saying, "Hey, we're already being uh, prepped that mask mandates are going to be back and forth in September in uh, in airports, and uh, this this thing will be full fledged by December." Um, but remember, by the time the first COVID drop happened, it wasn't when it was full fledged, it was when we first started hearing things about lockdowns and boom, we had this black swan event. And this is what we're going to get into in the video of why you can take advantage of this opportunity, exactly what I'm doing as well to prepare for what might come. So now let's listen to this. This was just after Alex Jones posted this. So COVID is making a comeback this summer. So many of us would like to leave it in the past, but cases are once again on the rise. So when will new booster shots roll out? Ann Thompson asked the CDC director. This summer, most Americans left COVID in the past, gathering together once again, mask free. But tonight, signs of a COVID resurgence. Across the country, COVID hospitalizations jumped more than 14% in the most recent week, but far lower than pandemic levels. NBC News medical contributor, Dr. Kavita Patel. What? Look at how ex excited this Navita Patel is. So you can just tell she's trying to hold back the smile of the, this. She's so excited to be on this news talking about this. What's behind this uptick in COVID that we're seeing? The main driver of this is a variant that's relatively newer to the scene, EG5. It's easier to give and get, so that makes it kind of easier to pass along. Ooh, it's a super spreader, guys. It's been almost a year since the last COVID booster came out. CDC Director Dr. Mandy Cohen. The new COVID booster is expected to be approved by the FDA, and then we will make recommendations from the CDC probably by the second or third week of September. Of September, I thought this was a new variant that's widely mutated, but we already have a booster shot ready to go, approved by the FDA in just a couple of weeks. Will it protect against this new strain? Yes, the booster is tailored to what we are seeing circulating now. Critics. Wow, they knew. So 
this is highly mutated, wildly different, but the booster shot that's about to be, be, be released by the FDA is already tailored specifically to this new wildly mutated variant that we just discovered. Come on. Say the federal government is behind once again. Mm -hmm. People knew there was going to be a COVID resurgence. Mm -hmm. So why don't we have a booster today? Why do we have to wait until next month? Give us our booster right now. The way we go about doing our, just like we do with our flu shots, right? We make sure that we're looking at the ways in which the virus changed. They look at and evaluate that. The FDA is doing its work. We likely will see this as an annual um, COVID uh, shot, just like the flu shot. Just in time for Paul, when we'll also face RSV. And then they go into, yeah, you should get your RSV vaccination. You should get your flu shot and your COVID. Just jab them all into you and uh, and you're you know likely to be protected. Okay, whatever your opinions are about this, this just goes to show you that this has been planned. Uh, certainly there are they are prepared for it. But let's go into it right now and showing you more about what's going on. So in Atlanta, college reinstates mask mandates for students and employees on campus already. What? This is insane, right? And both upstate ma medical hospitals to require masks again as COVID cases tick up. Let's scare the crap out of you guys. Hollywood studio Lionsgate brings back mask mandates amid COVID spike. So this is just going to show you that this fear mongering is really, really uh, happening right now. Now, what are some of the reasons behind this? Well, uh, as Joey points out here, Biden didn't get a chance to rule over America during the real fear period of COVID. He got in the middle of the game. The authoritarian, 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 oh my God, authoritarian, okay, side of him gets a hard on thinking about what he could do uh, if he had people on his, on this from the kick, uh, the kick from the start. And so he has a new variant to work with. How long until they drag Fauci and that Bricks bimbo out from the closet. They stuffed in collecting dust. I will not be complying. And Jen, uh, is it that time already? Gosh, uh, must be heading into election season soon. Cue up the fear porn news, new concerning COVID variant, new COVID booster shot already, almost ready to go, just in the nick of time. So one of the things that was discussed a lot after the last election was the fact that everything was on lockdown and you couldn't go out for the voting in America. Uh, and they did all this mail in mail in uh, ballot vote, voting. Right. And there was a lot of accusations that a lot of this mail in ballots for voting were fraudulent or fake. And I actually watched a documentary on this where they showed a bunch of CCTV cameras, uh, about guys coming up to the ballot boxes with a full thing. And you're not allowed to do that. You can't come and submit the ballots for other people, right? So guys would come up with crates full of these things and shove these things in these voting boxes in the middle of the night, right? Wearing masks, like trying to hide their face. So, you know, this is goes to show you that likely, uh, likely there is going to be a strong push for Biden to be reelected. Now, this is horrible news if you want someone responsible running the country, in my opinion, but, uh, and it's also not good for the candidates that we talked about, you know, particularly I'm a big fan of RFK and Vivek is pretty cool too. Um, I think both of them would do a, a phenomenal job that would be really exciting to see what these guys would do in office. But the point is, is that we're looking at something similar to the COVID crash back in uh, in March, right, uh, 2020, uh, that or that spiked this uh, this this stimulus infused massive hyper bull run. So let's go into this next one where, again, we talked about this recently. It's any day now. This uh, this decision from the uh, GPTC or Grayscale suing the SEC now. This lawsuit was actually done because Grayscale tried to convert their GBTC trust into a Bitcoin ETF and they got denied by the SEC. Now they sued the SEC and a lot of people are speculating that they will actually win this lawsuit. If they win the lawsuit, it doesn't mean that the Grayscale trust gets instantly converted into a, a Bitcoin ETF, but it does pave the way 
from a Supreme Court framework to for the uh, for the BlackRock and the other ETFs that are waiting for the decision to come. Now, this next piece of news is going to blow your mind. Um, so, a mysterious Bitcoin wallet becomes third largest Bitcoin holder in three months. Now, hmm, who do you guys think that might be? Right? If you've been watching this channel recently, we've been talking about the fact that that the way that BlackRock makes their money, they make their money from the appreciation and the gains that their that their investors make. Right? They don't. They make their money on fees. So. They want Bitcoin to be super low and they want to accumulate when it comes super low and they want their, their investors to be able to make a bunch of money. And they also know that this thing is going to be approved and that they want to have a bunch, right? So they just went and bought $3 billion worth and they probably can, can continue accumulating and they're especially going to accumulate if we get a black swan event coming. And that's what I think is potentially going. So what to do, right? And I'm gonna make a video probably the next day or two about how I'm using Aave to prepare because I did make a video and told you guys that I was all in uh, a month or two ago and that's true. So I don't have dry powder sitting on the sideline, but I am using Aave to an advantage. So what I do, did is I, and I, I will go into more depth on another video, but I'm prepared either way, right? I'm in a good position and I've actually used what's called this like, it's almost like loop leveraging. So it's where I, I deposit some Bitcoin and ETH as collateral in Aave, I borrow against it, uh, Tether, I buy more on the open market Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then I put it back in as more collateral, and then I can take out more, and it, it's a little bit of a loop to, uh, to basically increase leverage and increase your exposure by being able to borrow against your collateral, your Bitcoin or ETH or other assets that Aave allow you to borrow against. Now, in the video that I make coming up soon, so make sure you're subscribed and make sure that you have the notifications on so you can get that and you can understand how to do this. I will teach you how to do it in a safe way, how to make sure that you don't get liquidated, how to do the loop psychology, which is a very powerful tool, and, and show you how you can increase your exposure without any extra dry powder sitting on the side to Bitcoin and Ethereum. This will help increase your stack of Bitcoin and Ethereum at the end of the day. And when Bitcoin is a million bucks, you will be super thankful that you've done this. This is the biggest alpha that I can bring to you. So prepare, you know, this, we could see a massive black swan, but in my opinion, that is what will ignite the bull run. Because if we see a massive black swan and we already know that Biden is, wants to win the reelection, if the markets come crashing down from COVID lockdowns, they have to stimulus, they have to turn on the money printer again, and we will go into the biggest bull run that you've ever seen in your life. And that is something to get excited about, my friends. All right, that's going to be it for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. I will catch you guys on the next one. See ya.